just put out some news that I thought everyone, I mean, uranium on its own is exciting for clean tech investors, but you just announced the, you completed your patented well installation technology field test. Everything I read, very exciting. Let's talk about this. Yeah, really excited about this. This is really at the heart of our company. We are a leader in technology development in the in situ arena. But back in 2021, we were looking at a drilling program to begin to work toward ramp up at our Lost Creek mine. And we found out very quickly we could not get casing. Or if we could get it, it was going to be delayed by many months. And that was not acceptable. And so we said, it, we, we, we've got to find a different solution. So our engineering team and our geologists, they worked together and actually uh, came up with a new method for well installation. And uh, we were so excited about it uh, that we went ahead and got it patented. And that patent will be perfected uh, very shortly. And uh, we began field testing once we got approval from the state. So uh, the press release that just came out yesterday, it talks about uh, the results of phase one testing. It was very successful. Uh, a number of the challenges we knew that we would face with installation, we were able to overcome those. Uh, we did stub our toe a couple of times early, but very quickly our guys found solutions and uh, we were able to, uh, to develop the technology. And the cost savings, the potential cost savings is incredible. Uh, we're looking at uh, saving more than 70% of our time on injection wells, so we cut the drill rig time down. And to really quantify that into a meaningful way so investors understand is our mine cost or C1 cash cost for producing pounds of uranium is a little over $16 a pound. This technology, we believe we can save $2.50 a pound, upwards of $3.50 a pound. That's a big percentage uh, reduction in our C1 cash cost. And we're now moving into phase two testing to prove out flow rates and well development technologies associated. But a lot of different angles here, Tracy. Uh, it's, it, I could talk about this for hours. I love it. it uh, it's what we do. John, everyone talks about cost savings, but to me in life, time savings. And did I read this right? 75% reduction in drill rig time? Yeah, it, that's absolutely correct. So we're utilizing the drill rigs just for the front end of the process. Uh, we're not using it for the back end of the process. So we yeah, got literally a few hours of rig time per well. That's a dramatic change from uh, three and a half days is what is typically required. So yeah, we've really cut back on the time requirements. And if I read this correctly, and, and tell me if I have this correct, you're going to be able to sell this technology to other companies. Yeah. In fact, uh, the uh, day the press release came out, uh, we've had uh, actually two companies already have reached out to us and said, hey, that's really interesting. Would love to talk to you about that some more. And so, yeah, we uh, look forward to uh, licensing the technology. Uh, we need to perfect it in our phase two testing, but license it out to other in situ. And by in situ, I don't mean just in situ uranium. There are other uh, commodities out there it can be applied to. And if I read this also correct, copper, lithium, soda ash, potash, and other soluble minerals, yes? Yeah, absolutely. And, and even beyond that, Tracy, uh, we can look at monitor well installation. We can dramatically reduce the cost of monitor well installation. That's used uh, across the, the globe. Uh, so we think we've got some opportunity there to license to a variety of industries, environmental and mining. So I've read this represents up to as much as 49% savings on the installation of an injection well. And right. this represents 65% of wells and well fields designed Talk to us just a little bit more about the cost savings. I want to make sure that I've got this right. Yeah, absolutely. You know, before we put out the press release, we had a lot of numbers in the draft. And uh, I came back to my guys and said, you know, these numbers are, are meaningful to you and me, but to the investing public, they're not because they want to know the bottom line. And the bottom line is we're looking at $2.50 to $3.50 savings per pound. And keep in mind, again, our, our cost of production mine site is a little over $16. So this is a big, big savings. It goes directly to our bottom line in profitability. So you're one of the leading sources of uranium in the United States. You also have close to $40 million in the bank. And now you have a technology which can save people time and money. Is that correct? That's right. And not to mention the ESG uh, results from that. 
as well. So yeah, research and development is near and dear to our heart. Uh, it, tremendous impact on the bottom line uh, when we do research and development, but also uh, ESG implications are, are significant as well. Well, we're going to have you join us in the Critical Minerals Institute for our next virtual summit on ESG and critical minerals. We're going to talk to you about that a little bit later. Thank you so much, John, for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy.